Welcome to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. A few weeks ago, Kenya witnessed a lot of madness. To be precise, I'm talking about the invasion of the Kenyatta's land in Northlands. And they cut down trees, took away animals, and burned that land. Courtesy of orders from the members of parliament from Mount Kenya. But it is reported that the goons are coming back to their senses and they are returning, secretly returning, the animals that they had taken from the land. Very quickly, let us go to what is reported. If they say, Kenyatta family recover Kenya shillings 900,000 sheep from Northland city raid. Each of those exotic sheep cost 50,000 Kenya shillings. They were about 1,400 exotic sheep that were stolen from the land. In the videos that were going viral, you saw how passers-by stopped to buy some of these sheep and uh, it was being reported that the goods sold them as cheap as 500 Kenya shillings. You can imagine an exotic ship that uh, goes uh, for 50,000 Kenya shillings was sold at 500 shillings. But the youths have decided that they, they are now returning them. This is what the manager said. It said that Northland City Farm Security Manager Patrick Masinde on Thursday, April 13th revealed that they had recovered 18 doper ship stolen from the property during raid on March 27th. According to Masinde, the goons used cars to drop off the ship near the farm's fence along the eastern bypass and to avoid being and to avoid arrest the and to avoid arrest and detection, those who returned the ship reportedly sped off immediately after the drop off. On the other hand, it was revealed that some goons opted to drop the ship at the gate of police stations near the farm. So far, 18 sheep worth 900,000 Kenya shillings were returned. So these goods have decided that they are returning back, they are returning the ship. It is also reported there that uh, on 12th, some goods dropped five sheep at Dandora police station and they just paid off. So the police would call the Kenyatta family to identify if those sheep belong to them and their secret identification marks that they had placed. And so they have recovered 18 sheep that is worth 900 Kenya, uh, 900,000 Kenya shillings. And they continue to appeal to those who are still holding some of those sheep to return because the manager was saying that even though they have been returned, they are in bad condition. Remember, these sheep were under treatment, under special care. They are not the ordinary ones that uh, we are used to. So the manager is appealing to the youths who are uh, still holding them or those who bought them because it, there, there, there are some people who just bought them and they, they did not know what was happening. They were just passing by and they, in that madness they stopped by and bought. So later after they reached home and they, they were listening to the news, they realized, oh, this was a raid. And then they realized that it was a raid that was being officiated by our own members of parliament. I think... Uh, give credit where it's due. They did a mistake, but now they have decided they are returning this. And I think they are coming back to their senses that they were used. Some of them are saying that they were just because I know of a former member of parliament who took some goons, and the goons are saying that they were just told there is a free land somewhere we are going to be given land. And you see, Kenyans love free things and of course everyone. So they went there hoping that there was, there was some free land that, the, that they were going to be given. Some of them didn't even know that it was going to be a takeover from a private land. So in that madness they realized that people are cutting down trees and people are taking sheep. So they decided, okay, if this is what is happening, let us take some few with us. Some of them reached that place and made an, a secret uh, U-turn. And they vanished because they realized this is not what we were told. We were told there's some free land. So they are they have realized they were being used and they have decided we are returning the ship. 
The elders in Mount Kenya condemned, in fact, they, they, they just united together and condemned this act and they talked to the youths, told them, whatever you are doing is a curse, this is not the proper way of doing this. Because I remember them arguing that we have reports like Ndungu reports. There are several reports that talk, that talk about land. And so the proper way to do this was to people like Kimani Chunga who are leading this madness, were to go to parliament, in fact, Kimani Chungwa is the leader of the majority party in the National Assembly. They could easily compel the government. In fact, they are the government. They could compel themselves to avail these reports to, to, to understand, for Kenya to understand the extent of uh, past injustices. So that we understand there were some land that were taken, there were some people who were killed. And I remember they were talking about truth and reconciliation committees to be formed so that Kenyans can, you know, just say, okay, here we went wrong. And they, they apologize like what happened in South Africa. And so the elders told them that this was not the right way. In fact, it was the height of hypocrisy for someone who has got the authority in parliament to avail reports that will heal the nation to charge youths to invade a private property. So they hid it to the advice of the elders and they are returning them. They are sending a message, a coded message, that they are not very ready to be used again, and that is why they are defying the orders to, and they, they, they are defining, they defying these orders and they are returning the ship. Remember, the relative was that someone was hellbent in causing chaos in Nairobi, in ensuring that there will be looting on, on, on businesses, but after scrutiny, the demonstrations were very peaceful, except in the cases where the police decided to interfere with them. That is where there were a little bit of chaos. Rigeti Gashagwa had said that these demonstrations were meant to interfere with the Kikuyu businesses. But then this youth later, after looking at facts, they realized it was not about looting. It was about talking about real issues that affect them. And they have realized that what Raila was talking about are pertinent issues because they are also suffering from hunger, they are suffering from unemployment, and one thing that is now capturing their attention is that if this is the man they voted for, William Samoy Ruto, why can't he open the server? So they continue to see the light that there is something happening here, and they feel maybe they acted in bad faith. The real issue was to stop demonstrations, demonstrations that were meant to compel the government to act on behalf of the Wanainchi, because when they were campaigning, they had promised that they would bring down the cost of living. This has not happened. So these goons and the youths who are used are slowly coming back to terms, and they are asking questions. This government promised us the one they were campaigning that they would do this and that, but they are unable to do it. Now that Raila is questioning them why they can't do it, they now pile a lot of uh, fallacious allegations against this government. And they have realized that Uhuru was innocent, the Uhuru was being accused of uh, sponsoring these demonstrations, but they are soon realizing that Uhuru was very innocent, and they are realizing that the government used them, the government hoodwinked them, and now they are sending a warning that they have realized the truth. And I hope moving forward, this defense will continue. Moving forward, they will face the government, they will face Rigedi Geshagwa, they will face Kimani Chungwa, they will face Ndindi Nyoro, and tell them on their face that they are not ready to be used. And let me just say something here. To all our youths, we only have two tribes in Kenya, the rich and the poor, the haves and the have-nots. Don't let yourself be used again. To the youths who returned the animals, the sheep, this is a good thing and this is the way to go. If there is anyone who got those sheep, if there is anyone who stole and you still hold them, kindly return them before it's too late so that they can be attended to and this will be a good thing. And peace must prevail in our country. And this is my take.